Hello, in this video I am going to answer a question that was asked to me by one of my friends and colleagues, Royan Kim, about registering an anatomical data to partial brain coverage fMRI time series data. Okay, first I am going to use ITK Snap to demonstrate this registration method. And first I am going to load my functional data. This is the data that is sent to me by Royang, and that is the mean time series, which means that all the four dimensional data is compressed into three dimensions by taking the average across the time series. And you can see that this is a very challenging case to do brain registration because this is first a high resolution data, and second, it's a partial brain coverage data, and third, the field of view is positioned in a way that the frontal parts of the brain is not visible. And the regions of interest in this study, as far as I understand from Roy Young and the way this slab is positioned, is the visual areas of the human brain. Okay, we have this data that is pre-processed and so forth. Now we are going to put the anatomical image on top of it. Here you can see that this is an mp 2 rage uni image. And you can see that this is a whole brain data. And nicely that because these nifties are created correctly and then pre-processed correctly, as far as I can tell, there is already a good overlap between the fMRI slab and the anatomical data. Of course, at this point, one might ask that, can this registration be improved? Can we do better? And maybe, I don't exactly know where are Royang's uh, regions of interest, but I'm assuming somewhere here in the visual cortex. Uh, can we do better there? So one quick way of looking into registering and bringing the anatomical data into the functional space and based on a region of interest is the following. So first, once we are at this stage, we are going to the functional data. We kind of see one of our middle slices. And then we start drawing a segmentation and for that I am going to use the circular brush or spherical brush in three dimensions and I'm going to set my brush size to 30. You can see that it is as big as this one and then I'm going to, I'm just guessing right now, label some of the regions of interest. Let's say we want to only optimize our registration based on these four regions that we want to study further later. Okay, once this is labeled, we can proceed. However, there is one uh, detail that I would like to mention. You can see that some of the inferior slices of this fMRI data set is dark or has some uh, residual artifacts from the way this data is pre-processed and motion correction is done and so forth. And usually these slices are good to avoid in this registration mask drawing process. So I'm just saying this because if this sphere was including these later slices, it would have been better if we remove them. But now we, they are not included, so we don't need to do more about it. Okay, then we are going to go to Tools and Registration part of ITK Snap. You can switch between two images here. You can also use the brackets in your keyboard to quickly switch between them. And now there are two things that we are going to do. First, we will click on the Use Segmentation as Mask. And since these two images are already very close to begin with, we do not want to have a search that is at a very coarse level that can drive things off. We can start with the 2x level and our finest level will be, will be 1x. This is the same resolution as our data and not downsampled. And you can see that we have this mutual information metric. There are some others to choose from and you can either have rigid or affine linear transformation. And now we are going to run it and see what's happening. You can see that the brain has moved a little bit. The registration algorithm is already working to minimize the cost metric. And now it is finished and we can again use the brackets to switch back and forth. And maybe sometimes use S in your keyboard to turn on and off your segmentation mask. And maybe have a look at the registration, whether you are happy or not. And just to demonstrate, 
this method of optimizing your registration based on a region of interest, I'm going to also use the affine method now so that there will be a bit of shear in the registration as well and run again. Now let's see. You can see that if you look closely, the brain is a bit sometimes stretched in this way, in that way. And the algorithm is trying to minimize the cost metric between these two types of images. And now it is done. You can see that the registration is performed. But now the program just found the registration, uh, which is the affine transformation matrix. And the data is not really changed yet uh, in terms of changing the NIFTA data. To do that, we need to go on the lower right side of the screen and click on this stack of squares button. This will basically re-slice the anatomical data using the registration matrix. And I'm going to just use the default option here, click OK, and see that we have already re-sliced our anatomical data in the same data array as our functional data. So this image is now needs to be saved. We can do that by clicking to this little arrow button here and then say save image. And I'm going to call it registered anatomical. Finish. And now we can close our registration tab and maybe compare before and after to see how we did this one. Okay, so if we zoom in to some of our regions, not to get affected by the movement or different voxels that's outside of field of view. So you can see that definitely these two images are different. They moved a bit. And now it is up to you to judge if you did a better registration or not. Um, I am not like here trying to not to get the ultimate registration, but just show you a way of kind of maybe exploring how to do your registrations a bit better, maybe a bit more semi-automatically optimized for your regions of interest so that you have the, uh, let's say, quantitatively the best cost metric in those regions of interest. Okay, so this is how uh, you bring the anatomical data on top of the functional data using some regions of interest to optimize your registration. I hope that this is useful for some of you and thank you. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention <laughs> in the tutorial is that in the registration tab, you can actually save your transformation matrix by clicking to this little diskette button in two different formats. Let's call it the registration matrix. And this matrix file can be used by other software like ANTS or Greedy and so forth. So if you want to save your transformation matrix and maybe apply it in other contexts or other contrasts that you have, you can use that. But that, that's not our topic today. No. Thank you.